All right, road trip on the way back to Vegas. First day, I'm only going to Atlantic City. It's only like a four hour drive. Three, four, something like that. It's funny, in New York, they don't trust you to pump gas without your hand being on the pump. The metal piece doesn't stay in place like it does in most other cities. And you could like do your windshields or do something else like film a video. No, your hand has to be on it while it's pumping. So already pumped, the machine's not going anymore. And now I'm heading to Atlantic City and I should be there pretty shortly. Getting very close. There's the bridge. All right, I gotta merge and get on and I'll see you in a second. And let's see what's going on to the right, which I guess is the north. I have no idea. Outer bridge crossing. enjoyed these five seconds because this is really tight I got to focus on the road off in the distance there that's Harris I got about 10 minutes here on this uh, road with all the uh, weird motels and some gas stations but off in the distance Borgata and Harris all right in the garage in Harris Atlantic City that was pretty quick listen to us sports talk radio most of the way here if you want to fit in in the tri-state area three things you can do very easy anytime you're in your car listen to sports talk radio that's one eat egg sandwiches on bagels, that's two. And if it's shorts weather, wear white sneakers with white athletic socks. That's it for now. I am gonna probably eat something, Wawa, of course, and then probably play during the uh, Monday night playoff game. Bucks Cowboys. In front of my favorite restaurant of all time, Wawa, and if you have someone in your life who calls Wawa a gas station, not a restaurant, cut that person out and thank me later. I haven't been to a Wawa in like 14 months. I'm gonna go crazy in there right now. All right, milkshake, fries, cheese for the fries, chicken salad sandwich, Italian sandwich. If you think that's a lot, could be, but I've gotten way more than that in one trip. Today, day three of the road trip, I thought I would just tell you my uh, Atlantic City poker stats. Lifetime, so let's get into it. 1439 is the hourly. Now that includes all of Borgata, all of Harris, a few sessions at the Nugget, a few sessions at Ocean. Uh, those latter two don't have poker anymore, but they used to. It also includes a uh, limit at Harris while I'm waiting. I played uh, PLO at Harris one day, PLO at Borgata another day, and Omaha 8 at Golden Nugget. Now Borgata, which is behind me right now, 1361 hourly. That's about $4,500 and about 328 hours comes out to exactly 1361. And Harris is the other big chunk. Let me turn around and face Harris. I was facing Harris. Now my back is to Harris. Harris, 1762 lifetime hourly. It's about $3,900. It's about 220 hours. Borgata has more hours in it. Harris has better hours. And you can see by the numbers. I was here. This was mostly summer 2019, these stats. A few other sessions, other years. Mostly summer 2019, where I played 56 days in Atlantic City. More hours at Borgata. It doesn't go dark as often. There are games like 24 hours. Uh, there are better games, like early afternoon, than there are in Harris. So more hours in Borgata. If you were only going to pick one and really wanted a 70 hour week, you got to play Borgata. But better hours at Harris. More fun, more social, uh, looser, uh, just an all around more fun atmosphere. And if one of these casinos is going to go all night, you want to be at Harris, not at Borgata. So 56 days I played here, summer 2019. How many of them did I play at least 10 hours? Strict cutoff. 9 hours, 59 minutes doesn't count. How many days did I play at least 10 hours? 24. How many days did I play at least 12 hours? 16 of 56. How many days did I play at least 15 and a half out of 56 days? The answer is eight. Eight out of 56 days, I played at least 15 and a half hours that summer. And my long day of the year, 19 hours, seven minutes. My long day of that summer in Atlantic City, 19 hours, seven minutes. Five days out of the 56, I lost at least a buy-in, and the sum of those five days was minus $2,327. And 15 days, I won at least a buy-in. 15 out of 56 days, won at least a buy-in. Those 15 days totaled plus $9,183. Day four of the road trip. Today is Thursday the 19th. It is 6.20 a.m. I have about 11 and a half hours of driving ahead of me. Leaving AC, had Wawa five times in three days. I said how much I like Wawa. Definitely worth it. Got some uh, tunnel driving right now. The Tusco Rora Tunnel or something. Wasn't really reading the name all that carefully. But I'm about 200 miles from the uh, 
border of Ohio and Pennsylvania and heading west gonna have to finish driving through Pennsylvania and then drive through all of Ohio and I'm gonna stop somewhere in Indiana tonight all right making it into Ohio Pennsylvania is done just got Ohio to get through and then a portion of Indiana and I am done for the night a uh, little town not far from uh, Notre Dame's campus all right made it to the Airbnb snowing and uh, this is the end of day four day five get into Council Bluffs all right I think this is about the closest I'm gonna get to a sunrise it's been a uh, real cloudy it's been raining a little I left the Airbnb around 7 and it is 8.07 Eastern time. In a few minutes, I'm gonna be in Central time, but I'm still in Eastern in Indiana for right now. All right, I think I got about 25 miles until I get to the Iowa-Illinois border. I'm almost done with Illinois. Probably only uh, one more stop, and then I'll check into the Airbnb in Omaha and then head to the casino. All right, it's kind of windy, so I'm trying to block the wind off the camera with my body. That's why I'm using this view. Uh, I'm like two and a half hours from the Airbnb. Uh, that cigar is long gone, by the way, but it was a good one. And yeah, two and a half hours. I will show you when I get to the Airbnb. And uh, definitely some poker today, definitely some poker tomorrow. It is the next day. I actually forgot to film when I drove up, but I got to the Airbnb, smooth check-in last night, and then I went to play some poker. Uh, results from last night, lost $12 in an hour, 42 minutes. Uh, not as crowded as I expected on a Friday evening, and my table wasn't all that great. I wasn't really looking to switch because I knew I wasn't going to be there long. I was pretty tired right when I started anyway, so that's why I only played about two hours, but today gonna get more than two hours in and that's the end of day five. First thing I'll start you with Council Bluffs uh, poker stats. How about some uh, buy-in days? Days I've won a buy-in, days I've lost a buy-in. 67 times in my life in Council Bluffs I have won at least a buy-in. 41 times in my life I have lost at least a buy-in. 23 days I've won at least two buy-ins, at least $600 and only four days have I lost at least two buy-ins a day of minus 600 or worse the four days where i lost at least two buy-ins the sum of those four days minus two thousand six hundred ninety five dollars but the 23 days where i won at least six hundred dollars the total on that twenty three thousand eight hundred twenty seven dollars eleven times i had a day where i won at least a grand and everyone knows how many times I've lost at least a grand in Council Bluffs. Zero. But let's do some uh, hours instead of money. I like the hours more than the money. What about my 20 longest sessions in terms of time ever in Council Bluffs? The minimum, so my 20th longest session of all time in Council Bluffs, 11 hours, 51 minutes. My long, my number one longest session of all time, 16 hours, 39 minutes. And the average of my 20 longest sessions ever in Council Bluffs, 13 hours, eight minutes. 16 of those 20 are winners. So that's a pretty good clip, 80% and the money. $9,720 in my longest 20 sessions ever in Council Bluffs, over about 263 hours, which is very close to $36.98 per hour. The lifetime hourly here is $14.08, and if you remember from my video way back, my lifetime hourly everywhere is like $14.09 or $14.10. It's a very close number because I started out so poorly. The first 300 hours were awful. Since then, my most recent 1800 hours or so has been a pretty consistent like 16 per hour. Sunday, January 22nd, it is 7.01 a.m. Central Time. I'm leaving the Airbnb in Nebraska. I am heading just one state. Doesn't sound like much, but I'm heading from very far east Nebraska to very far west Colorado. So it's like 700 miles or something. All right, got quite a ways without making a turn. I'm pretty sure that's the miles I have left on I-80. And then I think I-80 turns into I-76. You guys remember in the summer when I was heading to Council Bluffs and I stopped to see those uh, talking dolls with that, uh, you know, old colonial theme museum stuff? That's this. It's right above me, driving under it. Visibility's kind of low, but it's not that bad on the road. I can see where I'm going. Uh, still in Nebraska, and about 35 miles, I leave I-80, I get onto I-76, 
and uh, I think I'll be in Colorado fairly soon. I'm not driving the entire length of Nebraska. I'm getting off like the southwest corner of Nebraska and getting into Colorado around there. 1.06 p.m. Uh, mountain time now. I am in Brush, Colorado. Not quite to Denver yet. Uh, any minute the uh, Bengals-Bills game is gonna kick off. Hope I can find it on the radio. All right, finally in Colorado. Driving uphill a lot recently and uh, some more mountains ahead. So definitely gonna get more picturesque. Definitely gonna get more picturesque as uh, I get into Colorado. I think I'm uh, past Denver but heading to uh, Western Colorado tonight. All right, in the motel, I am done for the night. I am in a Grand Junction. A lot of driving. Interesting, I only crossed one state border, Nebraska into Colorado, even though I basically drove the length of Nebraska plus Colorado. There's 30 miles left in western Colorado tomorrow before I get to Utah, and I started today only six miles from the Iowa-Nebraska border, so which is the Missouri River. So that's it for today. Last day of the road trip. It is Monday, January 23rd. It is 6.33 mountain time. It is 23 degrees. Got to believe it's a little hotter in Vegas. All right, sun's coming up a little bit. Uh, still darker than you're seeing through the camera, but it is getting nice out. Uh, 7.06 a.m. mountain time in about five miles, I think. I get to the Utah border and just thought I'd give you a view of the sun rising and the mountains. It's very cold out. I am in Cedar City, Utah. I am uh, not that far, 50 miles, something like that, from the uh, border to Nevada. I'm on I-15. This will be the last stop. Next time I see you, after some scenery, I will be in uh, Vegas. All right, this stretch. All right, this route has a stretch of 27 miles in Arizona, and that's where I am right now. Just a few miles ago, I crossed from Utah into Arizona, and I'm going to be here, not for long, until I get into Nevada, but uh, no snow. We had some snow in Utah, no snow on the ground or on the mountains here in Arizona, just driving through the mountains. I was just on the roof, too windy up there to film, to uh, say anything while filming. So I am here in uh, Bally's slash Horseshoe slash Paris. First thing, gas, uh, $325.41, and that was about 2,747 miles. Tolls, I'll tell you the total of 104.48. Seven nights, it was Harris Atlantic City for the first three, then it was an Airbnb in Indiana, then a two-night Airbnb in Omaha, and a motel in Colorado. I paid $185.33 for all seven nights. So food, last thing, total food, $110.48. A ton of that was me going to Wawa. I went five times in three days. I spent $88.55 at Wawa. Uh, three times I got, you know, hot and ready food at a gas station on the interstate. Uh, that totaled $14.97. Uh, what did the supermarket trips cost? So in the... Supermarket Acme outside Atlantic City. I got two one gallon jugs of water and I got three pounds of bananas. Those jugs of water cost 99 cents each. Three pounds of bananas cost a dollar one. Then in Aldi in Council Bluffs, I got a gallon of water, carrots, and peanuts. The gallon of water there cost a dollar nine. The peanuts, I think, were a dollar 95. 
and if all that is correct, the carrots were like 97 cents or something. The numbers on the screen are exact. So total $6.96 for three gallons of water, one pound of peanuts, one pound of carrots, and three pounds of bananas. So the whole trip costs $7.25 and 70 cents. There it is, road trip is done, and everything I paid, getting here. New York to Vegas, done. I got it at the stadium. Amen.